So hello Kathmandu. Sabai, Sabai la Kastacha. Is that right? Yeah, okay. So let me introduce myself. I am Anjumanara Chodhuri, Senior Marketing Strategist at WP Manage Ninja, and currently I am working with Fluent Forms. So before moving on to my topic, let's uh, tell you a small story, guys. Well, in this story, there was a farmer uh, who had a golden goose, meaning that the goose was laying a, egg, a golden egg every day. And he used to sell the egg to the market and got a good amount of money. But after some time, he became very greedy and cut down the belly of the egg one day. Uh, thinking about that he could get all the money, all the eggs, all the golden eggs at a time. But we all know that things just don't work like that, right? And so before moving on to the moral of this story, let's look at my today's topic. It's like uh, conversion optimization and lead generation. So basically, I will discuss about the most trending ways of converting, uh, sorry, generating leads and uh, optimizing the most conversion rate for your website. Well, there are many ways to do that, but above of all, you need to be patient about your process. I mean, you need to give your time uh, to the website. You can't put all the eggs. I mean, you can be impatient about the eggs that is lead in this case, and you can put them at one place at a time. So, uh, by saying that, let's uh, know what is lead generation. Well, we know that lead generation is a process of um, acquiring your target audience or potential customers to increase your future sales. But how to do that? So before that, we will know about the process, but before that, let's uh, look at some stats, guys. Well, 53% uh, uh, of marketers believes that uh, half of their, sorry, 53% of marketers allocate their budgets for lead generation, and their 80% of marketers believe that marketing automation is the uh, main way of generating leads, and there are 43% of people who shops online every day and check their emails from their branded shops. So from this state, what we can understand, guys? Anyone can tell? From the audience, I want to know that from this, uh, from this state, what we can understand? Anyone? OK, no one. So let me tell you that uh, from this state, we can find out that uh, people are engaging with online shops or apps or branded shops every day and marketers also are engaging with the online business and allocating their business in online every day. So now let's uh, look at the visitor's journey. So first of all, a visitor discover your website by uh, uh, the blogs, websites or some social media then they click uh, the call to action button like uh, that could be an image or the messages or that could be a blog on your uh, website then they land on the landing page you have built for them and they grab the offer that could be buying anything or downloading anything from your website now before uh, generating the leads first of all you need to know the types of your leads I mean, there are four types of leads, basically. These are cold leads, warm leads, market qualified leads, and sales qualified leads. Cold leads are people they, who are fit for your company but didn't interact with you yet. Warm leads are those who knows about you but didn't exchange anything from you yet. Then market qualified leads are uh, familiar with your brand but uh, didn't exchange um, uh, familiar with your brand and they are engaging with your content but didn't exchange anything from you yet again then there are sales qualified lead who have expressed their interest in your products or services now apart from these four types there are more two types of leads they are hot leads and information qualified leads Hot leads are the people who uh, they are over interested in your company and information qualified leads uh, can be reached through your uh, content by uh, 
reach through your business by some informative uh, contents, but for some reason they are not reaching you yet. So why have uh, why did he, did we uh, have to know about your leads, the types of leads? Because without knowing your audience or knowing your people, you can't make make a proper plan. You can't segment your audience. You can't you don't know how to sell your product, right? Now, from these types of leads and the visitors journey, uh, from my research and from my knowledge, I have came out this. Uh, 11 types of uh, solution to generate the leads uh, for your website. Well, this is a long list, so uh, it, it would not possible for me to describe all these for now, but I have segmented them in three different parts. So now look at those parts. Okay, so first one is create your buyer persona. Now what is that? You have to research on your audience, your target audience, who you need to know who your people are, who you need to know uh, whom do you have to sell your products, right? Because each individual's interest is different than other. After your, uh, then you have to create your buyer persona and you have to create content about, um, based on your buyer persona and uh, share them on your uh, different platforms, for example, social media. Then after sharing your content, you need to identify the um, uh, top sources where you are getting your leads from. Like it could be any page, any content, any video, any any platform. You need to know where from where you are getting the top leads. Then you have to segment your audience, do the email marketing for them or let's say just you have to nurture them regularly. After that, you need to know uh, who are not sh showing no interest in your products. I mean, who are uh, drawing back from your business or from your plan. For them, you have to make a different plan, like you have to offer some personalized values and then repeat the process again and again. Now, um, let's move on to the conversion optimization. After implementing all, all of your lead generation process, you need to um, know what's, what your conversion rate is for your website. Like conversion optimization is the process of um, identifying your conversion rate of your website regularly. It's basically the process of um, uh, knowing your elements, um, uh, I mean, creating the ideas, the elements uh, for your website. And you can say that it's like uh, after implementing the lead generation ideas, if your website is uh, getting the, I mean, if the um, plan is working or not, I mean, 25 din mein paisa double hua ki nahi. Okay, so now how you can calculate your conversion rate? It's very easy, guys. You just need to divide the uh, total conversion by your total visitors and multiply with it 100. And what's the good conversion rate? Well, if you are getting a 2%, uh, between the 2% and 5% conversion rate of your website, then damn, you are doing damn good for your website. And But let me tell you one more thing, guys that 3% is already considered as a good amount of conversion rate for your website. And 5% is like exceptional, and we can say it's like um, the, uh, the term that pesa hi pesa. We cannot, um, I mean, it's for, it's for the highest um, range, I mean, it, it's, it's some of the exceptional cases. So the 3% is already considered as a good amount of uh, conversion rate. Now let's look at your user section. So first of all, the users get into your website. They hook by some element uh, in your website. It can be an image or any blog or any interesting element they found in your website. Then they uh, exchange from anything from you. Then there are also some who uh, didn't uh, found your website interesting or beneficial for them and then just left your the website. 
so uh, there are um, from the um, barriers i have uh, sort out this um, some ideas to get a good conversion rate for your website first of all you need to define your site goals you need to uh, collect some analyzed and visitor data uh, perform some competitor analysis then you have to make a proper uh, sales copy for your conversion funnel then you have to define your value proposition you have to make a proper sales copies for your website you have to um, build trust among users with some testimonials and reviews you have to uh, design a simple uh, site navigation and above all you need to uh, confirm that your uh, page loading time is as minimum as uh, as can now after implementing all the ideas there uh, i mean nothing is easy right you might face some challenges on the uh, through the process i mean there might be some um, uh, political issues in the professional from the your professional side then there in be there might be some in availability of accurate data then there might be uh, some uh, incompetency in av testing then uh, there is like uh, you uh, these people might don't have the proper knowledge of cro and um, lead generation process but apart from all of this you need to know your uh, recreation areas of your business you need to stick to the plan you need you have to um, um, continue the process test the process regularly and after that i hope you all will get the good result for your website so saying that um, uh, i am finishing my discussion here today and thank you all thank you katmandu and thank you whatcam katmandu for giving me such an opportunity Thank you.